Hey everyone, Brandon here from TruckSafe. If you're a CDL driver or you employ them, then you're familiar with the DOT drug testing process, which has for many years relied on urinalysis as the only approved method for conducting DOT mandated drug tests. Some in the industry, primarily larger motor carriers and certain safety groups, have pushed the DOT over the years to allow for hair testing as an alternative method. To date, that really hasn't gained any traction, and in light of a recent development from the FMCSA, likely won't be going anywhere anytime soon. That's what we're discussing in this video, so stay tuned and do us a favor, hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you find this type of content helpful. Okay, so hair testing has been a fairly controversial issue in the trucking industry for many years now. Many motor carriers have been doing hair testing on their CDL drivers for close to a decade at this point, even though the DOT doesn't recognize it as a valid testing method for DOT mandated drug test. How have they been doing that? Well, to date, they've been doing these types of hair tests in addition to the DOT mandated urinalysis test. In other words, they're going above and beyond what the regulations require of them and conducting the non-DOT hair test in addition to the DOT urine test, which is permissible under the regulations. These carriers and some safety groups claim that hair testing is more accurate and detects the presence of certain drugs for longer periods of time, which seems to be supported by several studies. But there are certainly some concerns with it. For years, these groups have been petitioning the FMCSA to recognize hair test as valid DOT test in lieu of urine test. In fact, one such group recently filed a petition with the agency asking that motor carriers be able to report the results of a positive hair test result to the drug and alcohol clearinghouse so that future prospective employers of those drivers have access to that information when making their hiring decisions. The FMCSA has denied that petition, explaining that it doesn't have the statutory authority to recognize hair testing as a valid test type for DOT-mandated drug screens. According to the notice, federal law requires that FMCSA follow the Health and Human Services scientific and technical guidelines for hair testing, including mandatory guidelines establishing comprehensive standards and procedures for every aspect of laboratory testing. The DOT goes on to explain that the Health and Human Services issued proposed hair mandatory guidelines for federal workplace drug testing in 2020 for public comment, but has not issued a final version of those rules. In short, the FMCSA believes that its hands are tied on this issue, unless and until the Department of Health and Human Services specifically authorizes hair tests for workplace drug testing. So where does that leave us? Well, for now, urinalysis remains the only authorized test type for DOT-mandated drug screens, except in limited circumstances where blood draws will suffice. Interestingly, the FMCSA itself issued a notice earlier this year in which it indicated that it was expanding, potentially, DOT drug testing methodology to allow for mouth swabs in addition to urinalysis, but that hasn't gone anywhere quite yet. It's possible it could in 2023, but for now, carriers must continue to test their CDL drivers for drugs through urinalysis. That said, some carriers will continue using hair testing as a supplement to their DOT testing process. Again, that's permissible under the regulations, so long as the hair tests are in addition to the required urine test. If one of these hair tests returns a positive result, but the urine test is negative, the carrier can take action to terminate or discipline that driver under its own independent authority as the employer or prospective employer of that driver, but it cannot report the result of that test to the drug and alcohol clearing house or to future employers of that driver since it is not an approved test type. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this video. If you have any questions about DOT drug and alcohol testing, please feel free to get in touch with us through our website at trucksafe.com. And for even more in-depth information about these types of regulatory topics, be sure to check out our innovative online compliance courses for safety managers or drivers over at trucksafeacademy.com. Also, be sure to check out our detailed compliance articles on our website and follow us on our various social media pages for the latest highway transportation news and analysis. Thanks for watching.